Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video, we are going to look at the routing options with Inertia.js. Now, like Laravel, there are different ways we can deal with routing in Inertia. Now, the first one is a pretty straightforward stuff, which is, you know, I can define a shorthand for routes. Uh, it is very similar to having something like if I go to my, let me close everything out and yeah let me go to web.php and i guess you are familiar that if one of your routes doesn't need too much data uh, just you are working with views you can do something like route view you define the url let's just say view route and you define a view and in this case let's just say we are doing test view okay so this means I can go to this particular route and for now it will fail because it doesn't see the view file there. Now if I do this blade.php and have something in here, if I refresh now, should have loaded but didn't happen. Uh, test view, my bad, this should be test view. Okay, so I've renamed it and you can see this is loading. So this is a very simplified way. It is difficult to pass any data to this particular blade view. So this is only useful when you have a very simple route to work with. Typically in any uh, websites, if you're doing in Laravel, you can use this. And a similar thing is available with Inertia.js. So if I change this to Inertia, I keep the route same. Now, obviously, this will fail because uh, it doesn't see that view file. Um, it is also failing because of the title. For now, I will remove that because I can't send that right now, but it's blank, right? It, it doesn't do anything. So what we can instead do is just do uh, maybe, what is this? Test, test.view, okay? And I'll do a template tag here and say this is coming from test view view file and over here instead of the blade i will refer to the test view file and you can see this is working so this is a very shorthand and uh, you know way of creating your routes when you have a very simple requirement okay now let me reset everything because i don't need those routes anymore uh, this was primarily for example now the second and the most important piece in this video is understanding generation of url and the ziggy okay so the generation of url is basically see what happens is in laravel we have named routes and if I show you my web.php, you will see I have name profile, name home, and all those things. Now, the, the reason to use a named profile is I can change the URL over here, but the name, if it remains constant, then Laravel has enough helpers for me to use them and be completely independent of the URL structure, which means I can change the URL and by if my application is referring to those routes using the name, they will automatically change the URL. Now, it's not a very common thing, but it is a good practice to use named routes. Even on the tests, you might want to do that. Otherwise, any refactoring will mean a lot of your tests will fail and you will have to change them everywhere. Okay. Now, the similar concept is available with uh, inertia what we have to do is use two packages one is a backend package called ziggy and the second is a front-end package again called ziggy now if you see over here on the home page right now i have hard-coded the url which means any change over here will mean i'll have to change here and even in my layout file i am referencing it somewhere mm, no it was inside 
Yeah, in here. Okay. So, first things first, I'll go to the Ziggy's GitHub page. Come over here and do compose the require Titan Co Ziggy. <coughs> All right, so this is now done. And what Ziggy says is in terms of installation, what we need to do is add this blade directive to your main layout before your application's JavaScript is loaded. So we will do that. I'll copy this directive, go to my app.blade.php. And this is where my JavaScript is getting loaded. So I'll just paste it here. So what happens with this? I need to understand that first. So I'll open up my console, make it a little bigger so that it is easier to consume things. You will see a script tag is added with a lot of data. Okay. Now you don't need to uh, understand this thing. I'll show you a simple way. So we are exposed to a function called route. It has a lot of things in it and there is something called as routes. So what happens is if I, instead of doing this route, if I do profile, which is the name of my route called profile, you will see I get the entire URL, which basically means if for some reason I do my profile, I refresh this page and now if I load it, can you see that function is giving me the updated URL. This is the benefit, right? So we can quickly come over here and make certain changes. Uh, or can I? Let me see. Not route. I have a feeling this won't work and I need the front end thing. Yes, um, correct. So before I make that change, so I, we have been able to load the Ziggy data on the blade file. Now there is an NPM package. I'll go to NPM JS. I'll just, I was just trying to see if there is any other way. There's one where you know, we can generate something. Uh, I'll show you in the documentation. I haven't tried that. Uh, so this is PHP artisan Ziggy generate. I didn't like this approach because every time you make a change, you'll have to again, you know, do a generate, uh, which is uh, way too much. So I, I'm trying to avoid that. Um, what I will do is Ziggy JS. That's Ziggy dash JS. You search for it. And you should see this library, uh, sorry, this logo. Okay. And yeah, this is straightforward again. Uh, npm i ziggy js i don't need the types i'm not working with typescript right now that was for a react js application and then i'll show you the installation process there is yeah there's a view plugin available with ziggy which we can use so let us go into our app.js where we have initialized our view in here first of all i'll import something from ziggy js what will we import uh, that's ziggy view okay once this is done i just need to change this to use ziggy view let's just ensure nothing is breaking Yes, there is no console error. And now if I go to my home and do something like route profile, I'm doing this colon over here because now this is a reactive data or a variable. So I'll need to tell view that don't 
treat it as a string okay it's no more a string okay so let's see uh, I made this change in profile for Vue.js and profile for Inertia.js right so both are updated and I can see that the URL is coming up correctly just to make that change maybe what I will do is change it again back to my profile refresh this and see yes you can see in this URL I am now getting my profile which is good but then this broke right so this is exactly what I was telling you that if we don't keep them dynamic you know these kind of refactors can break things in your application so what I will do is I'll come over here and make that same change maybe okay yeah that's it so with this now I can navigate through my top navigation as well the beautiful looking top navigation but yeah you understand the concept right so what we did was install the Ziggy backend and the front-end application the backend applica uh, the package sorry the backend package gives us this big object which has information all the information required of our routes this is almost like if you do a PHP uh, artisan route list right you get quite a few information you can consider it something very similar a little more information obviously and then with this front-end package npm package we are able to get hold of a function called route and the Ziggy uh, library gives us this you know view plugin which allows us to call that function inside our blade components sorry view components and that's how we are able to have dynamic links which are named routes and not hard-coded urls okay so this is the important concept of ziggy i hope you understand this concept because this will allow you to make your application independent of the url structure so yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.